Hey guys, what is up? Joel here and welcome to Back in the Day, a channel in which I take and unbox retro uh, video games of the Nintendo Super Nintendo Persuasion. Uh, so today we are going to be unboxing the iconic number one arcade smash, Double Dragon. Um, kind of got prompted to do this. I had downloaded the arcade version of this uh, from the uh, the eShop on the Switch. It was the arcade archives and uh, figured, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unbox the original. I used to love this game as a kid. Um, going through the arcade version, though, I forgot how damn hard the arcade version was. And it's even funny, with Unlimited Continues, the amount of times that I had died going through I didn't even finish it. I just was, you know, something I was dicking around with for a little bit. But, uh, man, what a hard game. I honestly think I might have made it once or twice only in this game, Right after you do the third mission where you fight the two Abobos, uh, the next level, like as soon as you get into the cave with the falling stalactites and everything, yeah, I think that was about all the farther I made it, and uh, yeah, I died miserably and uh, have not done anything since with that. So, because uh, actually anymore, I can't play my Nintendo games. I, uh, I did some revamping in my room, uh, my game room recently, and I just have the PS4 and the Switch hooked up. I put my... I put my Nintendo and my Super Nintendo away, uh, mainly due to the fact, like, we have our cat box in there, and uh, during the week, when we're at work, we keep our cats in there. We put, like, I put a blanket over my, my love seat and stuff in there, I, I cover everything up, but all the, the dust from the cat litter and stuff, it's just kind of, it was, you know, making a mess of things, and I didn't want to getting into the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, so I, I picked that up. Uh, I also am in the hopes of, I, I was hoping to have had it by now, but apparently not, I do actually want to pick up an emulator. Uh, so that I can play all this stuff, I still want to do some of the collecting, uh, get what I can or what I still need, but just at least have the emulator so I have all of those games. Plus, I mean, there's so much going on with emulators anymore that they just look so fascinating, like the MAME uh, arcade and uh, looking up some of the stuff, and it's like, wow, to be able to have a lot of a lot of the old, old, old arcade console games that or, or arcade cabinet games and stuff at home, I think would be just amazing. Uh, bring back a lot of memories uh, for me as a kid because I mean back in the back in the day, ha ha ha, um, arcades were where it was at, man. Like, yeah, that was the shit back then. Double Dragon, Shinobi, The Simpsons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Terminator Two. I mean, Star Wars. The, the list is just it's endless. It's endless, and to be able to have all of those on a console that's just you know running the emulators and i mean i don't know about the legality of any of that stuff quite frankly i don't i don't really care you know i mean it, it is what it is i want to play those games and i'll i'll pay the 200 dollars for an emulator 300 dollars, whatever it is and it'd be able to, to play them so anyways let's go ahead and get here uh get started on the unboxing this was always such a fun game i always enjoy playing this so much so it's it's in nice shape too actually now I don't know if there's any difference, and, and, and I mean I, I don't. If somebody could let me know, I, I would. I'd, I'd love to. Like, is this like a because of the 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 black logo? I mean, is this like a first printing? Some of them were black, and then in the later years they became the the white emblem, so uh, the seal of quality. So I mean, if if anybody could let me know if that is quite frankly uh, like a first print edition, or if it if it makes it maybe a little more valuable. Not that I care. I have no intentions of getting rid of it, or you know. Uh, no intentions either. Uh, you know, you look down your nose at people like, well, oh, mine's better because it's first edition. But, uh, yeah, just a beautiful game all around. This was one actually when I purchased it, I didn't, it didn't have the instruction manual. I had to get the instructions separate. But, I mean, it's in very, very nice shape, actually. Nice, crisp, pristine corners. Nice kind of label looks pretty clean. Looks pretty good. And the instruction manual. I always love that logo. I had seen at Walmart too. They have these uh, arcade kind of like joysticks. Um, 
and it's actually, I believe, this version, the Nintendo version of it, it's like a, you plug it into your TV and it's it's the game. Uh, what's also really cool is I've, uh, I've seen one. I don't recall if it's... You plug it into your TV or if it's an actual, like, a miniature arcade cabinet of, like, Dig Dug and uh, Bad Dudes. I think there was a Mega Man... Oh, there, there was another plug-in of Mega Man 2. So, Double Dragon Story. Kind of some... Some goofy artwork in some of these. I love the character artwork though when it gets to like the actual the actual characters. For some odd reason, I just uh I think that's really cool. I always liked uh, the a Bobo pose. Williams, I never understood that. If you hear the uh, humming in the background, my, it sounds like my neighbor's out mowing his grass. Which, quite honestly, I should probably be doing myself. However, uh, I have to watch the dog. My wife is out grocery shopping with her uh, grandmother, and I don't feel like putting the dog in his crate and having him wound up when I let him out. So... But, all right, hey guys, I, uh, I certainly hope you enjoyed this unboxing, very short unboxing, but I mean, really, when you're, when you're, you don't have a lot of inserts, this one, I don't have any inserts for it, but when you don't have a lot of the inserts or anything like that, it uh, actually does go a little bit quicker is in terms of uh, the unboxing itself. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you want to leave a comment, tell me what you thought, and go right ahead. Uh, until then, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the uh, rest of your day, and we'll see you later.